This is a wireless charger. And what we're gonna do is mount this biscuit right here on this boat. So that way we can charge our phone on the boat. Bang, perfect. So let me open this thing up so you can see what it is. This is a scan strut rock wireless nano 10 watt. This is actually the um, side version here. Pop this thing out here. So this thing, you put it in, goes to the side, clip your phone in there and it'll charge it up. Works really, really good. These things are super simple to put in. Boom. Now we just need to hook this up to power so that we can put this charger. We're actually going to be mounting this thing right, right here because we had a spotlight controller that was there. Now we're going to be covering that up like that. So that way this will be something like that. A little bit up a little bit just so it'll look nice. You'll be running along, charging your phone, playing your music. So what we're going to do is get a plate made for this, put the plate on, mount this to the plate, and then we need to wire this thing up to power. They've actually also got this one, which is like a vertical mount. So you got two different orientations. Um, in this application, we're going to be putting this one on there. Psych! Now we're going to be powering this phone charger since it doesn't use a whole lot. We're going to be powering this thing from our breakers and switches that's in here because if we look up here just to, as an example, that bar right there is pretty much the only fuse panel and that thing is stacked. It's also ran off of this solenoid right here which is activated by a switch but then in here everything else is fully packed out so there's literally no space for anything basically so what we're going to do is we're going to run the charger off of one of these breakers so we're going to take one of these off right we're going to take one of these off and we're going to put these spade connectors on to onto our thing like that probably need to split that up a little bit just because of how far away the breaker is from the switch but so we'll put these spades on there use a double and jump it off our breaker there so that way we've got circuit protection and we got power just gotta get that first little split mm-hmm and then you can roll her well, you should be able to mm-hmm normally it just splits there you go how much of a split do you want that should be enough Okay. Yeah. And here on the inside, we got her all looking, looking spiffy. And you can't really tell because there's so many wires. But this is where we're hooked up. We're running through this breaker, so we got circuit protection from from that breaker. And then we just grounded it right there, zip tied our wires, and then boom, right there, nice seal all the way around. We got this thing all screwed down and sealed up. It actually, looks really good. I like the little logo it's a good touch but let's give her a test here see what happens there you go she's charging fits perfectly phone's not overhanging anything i'd say that's pretty darn good